Right. <clears throat> I got home at about 7 o'clock. I've been gone all day. I wanted to listen to Verbal's live stream when she first started, but I had to do the backtrack of it. And I've been listening while I've been finishing cleaning up my house. Um, I got home from work and then I was cleaning and I was listening. And I want to tell Verbal, thank you so much for being the voice of reason and being a critical analyst when it comes to all these talking points, no matter who they're coming from, I appreciate you so much, it's not even funny. Because I feel like a lot of women, myself included, are talking to a goddamn wall when we're trying to get points across that people don't wanna hear. Um, and I wanna thank you because that live stream, you took all them talking points to the to the ground, to the to, to the mat, and you broke them down one by one. And it was like a breath of fresh air, not gonna lie. But this is the thing I wanted to say. I wanted, I don't wanna say this person's name because I, I still have respect for this person, but this is the, this is, because I was not allowed to say what I wanted to say on this person's panel while that woman was getting ganged up on. Um, and, you know, I I was not allowed on the panel. <laughs> I asked for the link and I wasn't allowed on the panel. So I had to make a video and addressing my, my points about Cynthia G not being like the Manosphere and the reasons why I say that. And I'm, I'm, I appreciate you so much for breaking those things down that we agree upon 100%, okay? But I just wanted to say this to the person this person said that he wanted both sides to be eradicated like a nuke bomb dropped on them where no bacteria, no fungi exists anymore. Let me just bring things to your attention and we'll go back biblically, right? So Noah, Noah got all the animals on the ark, plants and whatever, right? And he brought his sons, you know, the righteous of the righteous at that time, and his son's wives, the righteous of the righteous, and his own wife, the righteous of the righteous, and himself, the so-called righteous of the righteous. And, and the flood came, and it supposedly wiped out all the wicked. It supposedly wiped out all of homosexuality. It supposedly wiped out everything on the earth that was bad. Well, if that's the case, why did homosexuality come back? Why did, why do murders, why did murdering come back? Why did a lot of the things that, that so-called the earth was flooded to wipe out humanity for, why is it all here again? If it was supposed to be nuked then, right, basically? And what do scientists say? That even if you nuke the globe and kill everything, cockroaches will still be will still be living. So clearly, every bacteria, every fungi, or whatever is bad or not good in the world continues to come back. Why does it keep coming back? And why did, because everybody wants to talk about how Christian they are, why did that so-called Jesus Christ talk about transforming the minds of the unbelievers? or even those that so-called believed. Why did the mind need to be transformed? Because clearly, Sodom and Gomorrah wiping out people off the earth, earth and the flood didn't work. So clearly, there was only one way to change everything that was going to happen, and that is to transform the minds. So, I feel like Cynthia G., as much as people don't like her, she is the opposite force in the universe. One person, not just her alone, but women like her to go against what the men are putting out and what we call toxic masculinity or toxic, the toxic patriarchy. And the toxic patriarchy existed back then and it kept existing and it still exists today and it hasn't been eradicated and it hasn't been wiped out because the minds of the 
unbelievers or even the believers have not been transformed. And how do we get them to be transformed? That is the question. And I don't want to be disrespectful, but I, I was listening to this live stream and I, I really, when I got done cleaning, I really wanted to jump on that topic. So clearly a nuke is not going to eradicate anything. A flood didn't eradicate anything. Fire and brimstone coming from the sky didn't eradicate anything. So what's the next step? 